Let's learn how we can apply an underpayment from a customer on the reconciliation tab. So in this example, we're going to take a look at the city limousines transaction. And this transaction is for $100 and it's not automatically matching to any invoices in zero. And that's in this case because it's an underpayment of that total invoice amount. So let's find that invoice in question. Let's go ahead and click match. And we're going to search by name. So the customer is City Limousines. Now, in searching for outstanding invoices, there's a few invoices that come up. The oldest one is dated March 12th. And you'll see that the total amounts that we expect to receive are higher than what has been paid here. So we received $100 from that customer. They paid us $100. However, even our oldest invoice is for 250. So how do we go ahead and apply this payment? So what we're going to do is in zero, it's called a split payment. And so we're going to select this invoice. We have learned from this customer that they meant to apply this to the oldest invoice and they're trying to catch up on the later invoices. They have cash flow issues. And so we'll select the oldest invoice to apply this amount to, and then we'll go ahead and split the transaction. So Zero is going to apply the $100 payment to our balance of $250 for that invoice. And the remainder is going to be $150. So let's split and see what happens. What Zero is going to do is effectively split that invoice into two different parts. You paid $100 down. And now the next time, hopefully, the customer pays $150 to pay off that remaining portion of that invoice, Zero is gonna recognize that payment and be able to match it against this remaining amount. But now that we've uh, matched this amount, now that we have everything's green, we can go down and simply reconcile this transaction. And now we've reconciled that line item and it'll remove itself from the reconcile screen.